Lesson 4. Parts of a sentence. Every sentence has two parts. One part of the sentence is the subject, which answers who or what did something. Let's take a look at these examples. Dominic played in the snow fort. Henry plays the flute. The math class practiced times tables. Can you circle the subject in these sentences? To find the subject, ask the question, who or what did something? You should have circled Dominic in the first example, Henry in the second, and math class in the last example. The other part of the sentence is called the predicate. And it tells the reader something about the subject. The predicate tells what the subject does, what the subject did, or what happened. First see if you can find the predicate in the sample sentences up here by yourself. Then look at the following chart to help find out if you are right. Dominic is a sentence. Played in the snow fort is the predicate. It answers the question what the subject did. Number two, Henry is the subject. Plays the flute is the predicate. It answers what the subject does. The math class, what, is a subject. Practice times tables answers the subject answers, pardon me, the question what the subject did and is therefore the predicate. A couple things to remember when talking about subjects or predicates. The subject of a sentence tells who or what did something or what the sentence is about. The predicate of a sentence tells what the subject does, what the subject did, or what happened. A group of words is not a sentence unless it has a subject and a predicate. Here are three new sentences. Decide by yourself which words belong in the subject and circle them. Then decide which words belong in the predicate and underline them. In sentence number one, you should have circled that big dog. Number two, my older sister. And three, Dave's book of cartoons. Those are the subjects. Let's go back and do the predicates. Barks loudly should be underlined in number one. Number two, went to the movie as the predicate. And number three, fell into a puddle. Now you're ready to find subjects and predicates on your own on page 9 of this assignment.